Welcome back. Hope you are doing well. It is a beautiful kind of spring vibe day today. I am loving this and I am loving the collection I am going to show you today. My Disney purse collection. I feel like I just filmed this one. It was a little less than a year ago. This isn't one of those collections where I updated a lot. I think it's only like two or three new things, but we are going to declutter some of them. I did declutter a lot since the last time I filmed. Didn't really talk about it too much on the video because at the time I didn't really see it was too big of a problem. And now 2021, we are decluttering. Look out for some of the things I have recently decluttered, especially stuff with tags on it, coming up in upcoming giveaways, which you will have to be a subscriber to partake in any of the giveaways. And hit that subscribe button too, because you don't want to miss any of the other collection videos, declutters, all that Disney magic I have on the way. I have a haul on the way. Let's get into it and talk about my babies, my purses. I actually got a request to do my non-Disney purse collection, so look out for that in a video coming soon. Let's start with a bag that is one of the newer ones I got last summer, very special to me. It's this Disney Vacation Club Dooney & Burke. I love a good Dooney & Burke bag, but this is just so meaningful because I am a Disney Vacation Club member. We have so many home resort points in so many of these places. I have so many beautiful memories in so many of these places. I absolutely love this bag. I do love the style of this bag too. I don't have any other bags that are, well, I have one other bag. I just never used it. You'll see that in a second. That's like this, but I love, you know, old Key West and we've got the Riviera. Would love to stay there one day. Just the colors on it. So beautiful. I love this kind of maroon burgundy color on the tag here. It says Disney Vacation Club member. The back is blank. We've got the Dooney thing. I love that it's got the feet on the bottom of the bag. Huge fan of when bags have this. I have used this a lot, even though we are in a pandemic. I have loved every second of this bag. It is beautiful. It is meaningful. Highly, highly recommend this style. Let me show you the other style I have of this, but like I said, don't judge me. Never used it. So out of breath. <laughs> putting all these bags together. This is one, like I said, never used. I got it before the pandemic, never used it. It was a very special gift. These, A lot of these bags have been special gifts and memories, but it's this Gus Gus and Jacques bag. I think this came out 2018, 2019, and yeah, it's kind of sad I never used it. I want to use it though, because it's so beautiful. It's kind of the same pattern all around. It's not as confusing as some of the other pattern bags where you got to look for it, but it's just so, so cute. The straps are a little bit different. You got more of a buckle effect than the Vacation Club one, but again, love the colors. Just oh, love Gus Gus so much, and I'll actually tease you guys a little bit here. We do have a Gus Gus giveaway on the way. Dooney and Burt bags are my absolute favorite of my Disney purses and purses in general, and this is one of my favorite styles, and I wish they had more prints of this because I use this all the time. It's this crossbody bag. It's this Mickey and Minnie parts bag, and it's got two separate compartments here, which are perfect for your phone or anything like quick that you need. Absolutely love this bag. It is so durable. I've used it so many times. I love the colors on it. It goes with so much. It could actually fit a lot. I tend to carry a lot of stuff with me. This could fit a water bottle. It could fit juice. It could fit snacks. It could fit my rather large wallet. Whatever I need, this baby will fit. This was from, gosh, 2015 maybe? This is from a while ago. And I think they actually had this print in that, what is this style called? Not a barrel bag. The dome bag, I don't know. I love purses, but I'm not that well versed in them apparently. <laughs> this is another crossbody. Probably the smallest purse I own. Can't part with it just yet. It's something that, again, is another beautiful memory. Um, it's really tiny, but I guess if you're just going for something quick, it's perfect. It's a different kind of material than most of the um, Dooney and Burke bags. They've got a couple of zipper compartments here. It's pretty subtle too. You've got these like neutral color Mickeys. This was one of the first designs they had. It was like this one and the black one with all the really colorful Mickeys that I think they recently brought back for a limited time for the anniversary of Disney and Dooney and Burke. But yeah, this one, love this one. Here's another Dooney, very different material than the other ones. And this was one of my first bags and I love this one. It's like a denim with these like velour kind of Mickeys and peace and love throughout in this pink. They had this in like an aqua color as well. And what I love about this, let's hope the inside's clean here. Yes, you got this hot pink on the inside and it's got separators compartments. So you've got the middle compartment here with the zipper. You've got a compartment here, a compartment here doing a terrible job of showing this, <laughs> but it's so easy to store so much in this bag. It's durable. It fits a lot. It's, it's one of my favorites for sure. 
This was another one of my first bags, um, and this is a print that is just so beloved, and I think they've changed the material a little bit and added some characters and stuff through the years. It was a gift, so I didn't get to pick my pattern, but I still think it came out pretty cute. We've got the OG sketch. We got a goofy hat, Cinderella slipper, Mickey and Minnie all over the balloons. I love this bag. Now, I need a tip from you guys. How do you clean your Dooney and Burke bags? Because you'll see on the back here, it's kind of discolored because I've used it so much, especially the part where it's like on my side. So how do you guys wash these kind of bags? We got the castle and tink. I just, ugh, another bag that I just can't get enough of. Having the spring weather, but man, it's like allergies are here today. <laughs> These bags and like lounge fly backpacks are just works of art. They're simply so stunning. Here's one of my favorites. It's this Alice in Wonderland bag from a few years ago. Love the colors on it. You've got purple, you've got all these different Alice's and tea, I'm a big tea fan and I love the golden afternoon sequence. So love, love, love that. We've got a nice zipper compartment on the back so fun. They came in this style and I think it was a crossbody one if I'm not mistaken. And this one also has the feet. This is one of my not only favorite bags but favorite things that I own. It is just so stunning and I know so many people tried to get their hands on this. I was very lucky that someone got this for me and it's just so beautiful. Belle, one of my favorite characters, my favorite movie is Beauty and the Beast. Just look how stunning it is in the ballroom and it's the same on the back. This is just like my favorite. It fits everything. It's just so beautiful and has the feet on the bottom. Oh, and on the bottom, this was the crossbody bag that they had. It was in this print, which I love that we've got all of them on the bottom there, so cute. And on here, we've got Belle's autograph and Dream Big Princess. And then this one is my last Dooney and Burke bag. It was one of the last things my grandfather ever got for me before he passed. This is when the 40th of Walt Disney World was happening, which makes me very scared for what's gonna happen with the 50th March. I actually just had a phone call for work talking about what we're gonna do for the 50th and uh, yeah, well, I'm gonna be in big trouble, <laughs> but I hope to see you guys there for it. If things are safe, I would love to, to say hi and just celebrate the magic of Disney together. But this was the 40th. Dooney and it's so old-fashioned and I love the way Goofy and Donald look on here. This is very vintagey. I went through so many bags to find the right print. We've got Walt Disney on there. You've got like park maps. It's got all of the parks represented. Need to clean this one too. On the back we've got more Walt Disney World. See all the parks there. Oh, love, love, love. And then that's the bottom miss using all my purses and I know I'm not alone in that and I could, it's one of the things I'm looking forward to the most about getting back out there like planning my outfits having my bags got a couple of lounge fly bags here have way more lounge fly backpacks if you miss my backpack collection and declutter I will link that up in the eye and down below this is actually a smaller one I always forget that I have this it always falls behind stuff I don't know how practical it is, but it is so cute. It's this Edna Mode like magazine cover. Edna Mode is one of my favorite characters and I love how like fashiony it is and I love the colors of it. On the back, you've got the Disney Pixar lounge fly. You've got this gold strap, which is really cool. And then on the inside, it's just got this flap and then this um, striped not gonna really use it a heck of a lot but i just can't part with it yet chances are eventually i will but for now we're gonna hang on to this baby here's a bag that has come to comic-con with me i have been able to use this bag for so many things it is a star wars bag which by the way star wars giveaway currently going on i'll link that video up in the eye and down below good luck to you but i love the subtlety yet not subtlety of this it's this blue bag with like this embossed r2d2 i love the gold c3po he's one of my fave says star wars on the back you've got star wars lounge fly i wish this zipped but it just is a snap closure we've got this r2 print on the inside a compartment here and a zip it, zipper compartment here i didn't want to show you guys all of the bags on the inside because chances are you can't get your hands on most of these anyway but this one i still see pop up not necessarily on the lounge fly site but on like mercari or mccary um poshmark sites like that so yeah love this droid bag these next two bags are extremely similar and i don't know that i'm gonna keep both of them because honestly 
I don't really ever use them. Again, they're both lounge fly. We've got this Toy Story one with the clouds and all of the characters, which I really love because Toy Story is very near and dear to me. I've used this bag once, I think, when I went to a press party for Toy Story Land. Uh, my job set me down for the opening of it and uh, we get dressed up for our press parties and I brought this purse and it's a crossbody but also a barrel bag on the small side could not fit everything for sure it is super cute but like i said i've used this once this one i've used a little bit more very similar style though and it's beauty and the beast now this doesn't say lounge fly on it but it is lounge fly i think it came from maybe hot topic it's this beautiful stained glass with these beautiful colors i do genuinely love both of them like the prints are so cute i just don't know honestly how often i'm gonna use both of them so i'm gonna put them in the maybes but let me know in the comments below which one you like better are you team toy story purse or team beauty and the beast purse let me know i actually have a dress that matches this perfectly I have stuff that matches this perfectly too. Who am I kidding? Cakeworthy has been getting more and more popular. They're known for their flannel button downs and also their all over print shirts, which I've got a couple. I know they just came out with a huge Beauty and the Beast collection. I'm being good though. I'm trying not to buy things this year. Before they were really into that though, I discovered this for my friend Brittany and it's like this comic book style bag that's huge and beautiful for Cinderella, right? Like very comic book style. I think it was like an incredible deal too. This side is all this like glossy, like glittery blue. It's beautiful. It's just got a snap closure here, but can we look at this print on the inside? Oh my gosh, this comic book. We've got our favorite mice there. We've got like the stepsisters are in here. So beautiful. I wish they did something with this pattern all over. But yeah, this is a beautiful one. And every time I use it, I get so many compliments. This is a great one to use for work because I can carry like my lunch in here, my notebooks in here, my headphones. This is a, a great durable bag. And it kind of reminds me of the Danielle Nicole bags. Much different price point. Now this one, wow, I didn't realize how much wear and tear this bag has taken. This is a Snow White one. Look how gorgeous. Again, kind of comic book vibes, but so much beautiful glitter and bling to it. The back is very similar to that Cake Worthy. It's a nicer material, but it's like this like shiny gloss um, beautiful material. I wish these were zipper. They're, you know, just like a closure. And on the inside, it just says Danielle Nicole everywhere, very subtly, but <sighs> works of art, these bags. I wish I um, put, I'm surprised I didn't put something in it to hold the, the sturdiness of it. But yeah, it's starting to like get a little frayed on the bottom. I've used this baby a lot. There's another beautiful Danielle Nicole bag. Minnie, look at that. I just love her pose and that she's laughing and so happy. Again, we've got beautiful glitter on it. The back is just this simple black and the inside, again, the zip closure, zip closure. I wish it was zip closure. It's just this um, magnetic closure and the Danielle Nicole with the two pockets. These overextend a little bit, which make me nervous, but I mean, when they're that beautiful, it doesn't really matter. It's like some of the lounge fly bags, you know? This is one of my favorite Danielle Nicole bags to use in the fall. It's Pocahontas, so beautiful. And it's rare that you see a lot of Pocahontas stuff, but it's so beautiful, very different than the other ones because it's like a suede material and it's a little bit smaller, which I do like. Again, just the snap closure, a really like flimsy pocket, but yeah, this you could fit a lot in this bag and it goes with so many of my fall outfits. I am not a huge Vera Bradley fan, but I do have quite a few Vera Bradley pieces. I actually have a really big duffel, which I need to be using more, but it's up in my attic. It's just black all over and then it has like a little vacation club logo. Why didn't I use that last year when we went to the city? thinks about a year later. Um, I have quite a few wallets, which if you missed that wallet and collection declutter, I decluttered a lot. I'll link that up in the eye and down below. I have a really big tote bag that's Mickey and Minnie. If I can find it before I edit this video or upload it, I will link a picture, but I can't, I can't figure out what I did with it. And then I usually just use for like storage of things. Here are the two bags. Well, one that I use all of the time, but I like these styles. So it's a crossbody bag. This was like the original print 
print and they're very durable. You could put like your phone here. It's got a zip compartment. This print was not, or pattern was not the best. This back part was because you've got Mickey and Minnie there. It's very colorful, but it does go with a lot. It fits a lot. You could fit a water bottle in it. And I've used this bag a ton. This one I got during the pandemic. So this is a newer one. Haven't used it yet because it was during the pandemic. And I told myself if I do not use it by the end of the year, I will give it away. But it's this purple, I think it was like a snack print because if you look closely, of course I can't find them now. You can see some Disney snacks there. You've got the Mickey ice cream bar, but you've also got Goofy, which was like a big selling factor for me. And you've got two zip compartments on the front. On the back, you've got a bigger Goofy. You've got another compartment here for your phone. You've got Donald and Minnie and Pluto and Mickey in purple shorts. I loved the colors on this because purple is my favorite color. And I love the print on the inside because it's all the snacks. You can really see it better there. You've got Dole Whips. So I like that the front had like pinches of snacks, but it was mainly about the characters. We're gonna wrap it up with the mousellaneous section. And this is where I got rid of a lot of stuff from my last purse declutter. I think right after the video and then maybe while I was going through a decluttering phase in the beginning of the year, I got rid of a couple of things too. So we don't nearly have as much this is a custom piece that I would never get rid of. My friend Brittany over at Brittany Faz Creations on Etsy created this purse. She made this purse like by hand. It is the stained glass Beauty and the Beast. How impressive is that? It's so, I'm just so blown away by her talent and she's got this simple fabric here and then it opens up and we've got tail as old as time with Mrs. Potts all hand stitched and she even put um, a pocket on there as well. So it just blows my mind that she was able to create a bag like this. And I feel so blessed to have her in my life and that she thought of me to do this. It's amazing. This is going into my maybe pile. It's a crossbody bag and I feel like I could get use out of it. I just don't know that I really am ever going to. I got this years ago at Walt Disney World. It's this like um, burlap kind of material and it's got Disneyland, Disney World, Dumbo, Mickey. We've got like these little postcards there. I do really like the, um, the piping around the outside there. It's got a compartment here, a compartment here, and then this bow, which I guess is why I don't really use it as much. I don't know. This is gonna be one of those things, if I don't use it in the next couple of months, I will declutter it. But I remember being like really excited when I got this bag. Here are two more bags that I don't really ever use. I keep telling myself I'm gonna use it, but I just don't know. It's been really hard to part with them. Let's talk about this one first, which they recently brought back this print in a t-shirt at both Walt Disney World and Disneyland. And I have the Disneyland version of it, not the Walt Disney World, but it's really cool because you have like parks meets your favorite characters. So Goofy is just like front and center there at the castle, but you have like the hitchhiking ghost and Prayer Rabbit, a pirate. Um, we've got an It's a Small World doll. You've got Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Some of the characters have like little beading here. I'm not a huge fan of the, the sequins here or whatever they're called on the outside. It's just this denim bag. Again, another snap closure. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it. Um, let's do another vote for this one or this Walt Disney World one, which probably I would get more use out of. I have in the past. It's this Walt, this image we know and love, this Walt and Mickey on Main Street. Now it's funny because this is actually Disneyland Castle, but it does say Main Street USA Magic Kingdom and Walt Disney World. What's cool about this bag is on the bottom here, it zips. Oh, the zipper's broken, look at that. And you could like fit something. So if you wanna keep a water bottle on the bottom so it doesn't get your stuff in your purse wet, gotta fix the zipper. It's got this little um, tab on top and then you've got the Walt Disney signature on the inside. So let me know in the comments below, vote Beauty and the Beast or Toy Story for the lounge fly and also vote Mickey and Walt 
or all the characters Walt Disney World. So both Walt Disney World bags. So Mickey and Walt or all the characters. This is tough, man. Then I just have two totes, which I don't know that I showed in the last purse collection video. I decluttered, I think it was like 10 totes. Some I just tossed, some my sister selling on eBay. But the first one is the Star Wars trilogy bag, which I got at Comic-Con last year when I bought the book. And I love this side of it. It's got New York Comic Con um, 2019 exclusive with R2 and C3PO. This was probably my favorite year of Comic Con too. So many incredible opportunities. I can link some of those fun videos down below, but I don't really ever use this one. It's just a fun memory. And this one I keep saving because my job is hopefully sending me on a cruise soon. And I feel like this would be good for the pool or just to bring on the cruise. And I use this bag a lot back in the day. It's this like nautical tote. I love the color combo here. We got the yellow, we got the white. Mickey Mouse. It's definitely seen better days. I think I may just end up tossing it. It's very stained all. Yeah, I think I'm going to toss this bag. Yeah, that's sad. All right, I think that is all of my purse collection. It was definitely bigger the first time around, but I'm trying to update these a little bit, just kind of refresh your memory, especially I've had so many new subscribers since then, which thank you all for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, I hope you will before you go. So like I said, you can partake in the upcoming giveaways. I got a current giveaway going on and you don't miss any of the magic headed your way. I'm going to do, like I said, a non-Disney purse collection. That's probably going to be my next video. And please vote in the comments below help me declutter a little bit. Give me the strength for decluttering and I will talk to you guys real soon. Thanks for watching. As always, hope you are doing well and happy almost spring. I am Christina Kay. Have a Disney day.